Y'all, if y'all thought we were in the south before, oh, we are deep in the south now. We are coming at you from Omen, a place where the swamp flatland forestation goes as far as the eye can see. Daily life here is done the right way, a little bit slower and known for speeding down the canals in your boat. Now today, we got them looking for some bees. Yeah, that's right, Old Man is famous for its bees and its honey. Yeah. But that won't be the only thing we catch. Oh my God. Big We're gonna get a few water creatures as well to enjoy a special, special dinner cooked by a local family here in Old Man. It's gonna be a good day boating around, grab some honey, get some food for our dinner tonight. As y'all all know, it is Max here at My Kind of Beats. Let's get this afternoon and old men underway. Có cái nhà cho ông nó về gì đó Có cái nhà sẵn gì đó So we stopped at the first one Pretty much what he's doing is making the home for the bees Cleaning it up, knocking down all that stuff Making sure it's clean for them Making sure they're happy You know, happy bee, happy nature, happy life Roadblock Slight roadblock. Valiant effort. Valiant, valiant, valiant effort. Trời ơi. Mạnh mẽ. Yeah. Rồi. Wow. At first I was like, oh, who leaves their boat in the middle of the water like that, taking up all that space? It's his. I tell you what, I've been more fire in that fire. Huge and beautiful. Snail eggs. Snail eggs. Wow. So we're about to switch over this rowing boat right here and we're gonna get up in some nets he's got because we're gonna actually catch some fish or at least look to see if he's caught any. I hope we catch some. Whoa! Hello! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, from a small boat to a smaller boat. Now a lot of uh, crocodile bone. Oh. Wait, not anymore though, right? Yeah, now no more. Okay, good. Come on, Tila. Tell me there's crocodiles here. 
after I get in this tiny boat. Speaking my language. When you ain't speeding in that boat, there's no wind. And that sun is hot. Good teamwork. Is it, is it too early to say like how I would like mine cooked? Uh, yes, I would like mine done over charcoal grilled up, please. <laughs> we just got an eel. Oh, there's more. More eel. Oh, we're gonna be feasting tonight on the eel. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, now time to mask up and steal some honey. How do you wear it? Oh, Dongmen. Một chút nọ. Good luck, Anne. Oh, 
Rồi em lấy ra miếng cho mọi người thưởng thức nha. Oh, now he's gathering it. À lấy ra cục mặt thưởng thức vậy. Cái tiền là ăn cục mặt này đấy anh gọi. Bị. Ừ. Đây là mời anh chị ăn thưởng thức rồi Rồi, mình gái ha Yeah, take it, run D, D, D That was honestly one of the like, best experiences I've ever had Being that close <cười> một chú <cười> Má đẹp quá Em thấy anh ạ Oh, it's just gushing Honey That is incredible But y'all, that is just a liquid Honey It's so natural, there's a depth of flavor. You get just a touch of sour from it. That's beautiful mother nature. <laughs> I think I just became Winnie the Pooh, y'all. Oh my. Gong hoa. Brother, you're just gonna keep feeding me. I'm gonna stay here all day. I ain't never gonna leave. Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Ừ. Dạ cái này là vô, vô cùng bổ dưỡng ạ, à. đây là con ong sữa ạ. À. Ừ. Dạ. Baby. Em mời anh ăn sữa, cái sữa ong này nó 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 nhạt nhưng mà nó 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 rất là bổ bổ. Oh, uh, this is actually the larva, you can actually eat this part as well. Mm. Wow. That just explodes the juices. It's not really sweet at all, but it's almost it's got like this milky consistency to it. Rich. Feels like it's got a lot of protein and just nutrition in it. Anh, còn cái này là cái 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 thức ăn của con ong hồi nãy á. Cái thức ăn ạ. Dạ, rồi em ơi nè. À cái thức ăn. Đó là cái ké ong á. Oh, it feels like it almost Mm. What was that? Has this amazing floral sweetness to it, kind of powderiness becomes creamy in your mouth. That may have been my favorite. You know, the honey is just overly sweet and just decadent. That second one, you know, it is kind of milky, it's rich, but that third one, third one is the charm that was on point. He just keeps feeding me. He just keeps feeding me. I was just kind of like young now. This is just ridiculous. He keeps feeding me. Hmm. Content are you? Content là phú. Phú. Content are you? Content ngữ. Ừ, con tên là Max. Dạ, chú tên là Max. Wow. So, I'm walking away because they're actually going to use some of that to cook for dinner tonight. And I keep eating it, so I'm gonna step away, so I'll stop eating it, and we'll have some for dinner. Y'all gotta look at this. I uh, don't have time to shower because they're ready to go, but I wanted to show you where I'm staying real quick. So yeah, pretty traditional home. Got a little fan, um, some lights. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the house tour. Oh yes, and this is where I shower. Well, if I was going to, no time. Okay. Good boy. Oh. Oh, come out, come out, come out. Hello, hello, come out. Bye bye. Wow, boy, massive kitchen. Look how many, how many walks they got. Look at this. 
Mo hai ba yong <cười> Rất nhiều thôi ơi Đào để Để gì để ra ngoài nó bị hơi e á Không em sao Em để sao? vô mắm đu đủ Mắm đu đủ oh. Mắm chua đu đủ Now you can taste Yes, my first time A first time mum product We got the mum đu đủ Oh, so you got the fish in there It's been fermented with the actual papaya Oh, you're feeding me I need some spice. Mm. Perfectly. The fermented fish gives you that funky, that salty, then the doo-doo gives you that crunch. It gives you that little bit of sweetness to balance it all out. And that kick of heat from that little pepper. Oh, watch out, mum tom, mum rook, and mum nim. We got mum doo-doo coming after you for my favorite. That is delicious. Miss much, I see. Some more garlic and chili is good. Oh, tim toy, tim ut. Yeah, yeah, good. Gong hung. Gong hung. I could stay here all day. Joy, oh. Yeah, we have cut, you remember? Yeah, don't worry. They fried it up real quick. Yeah. Oh my goodness, y'all. This spread is just incredible. How do you know where to start? Wow. 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 B, B, Y. So much. Oh. Smells like alcohol. <sighs> Tastes like it too. That's actually not bad. That had some honey components to it. That was rich. It had some sweetness to it. You could kind of drink way too much of it way too fast. You never have this problem. You just gotta start with the rice. So I actually got the green banana. What you're supposed to do is dip it in the mum tom. So that's how I picked it first, making the mum tom here and everything. Mm. If you want to make good mum products, just start out with fresh seafood that is a little bit salty, a little funky, actually very mild. Go in with that green banana beautifully, touch of sour and a snap. Let's keep it going. Just gonna try it purity first. Whoa. It's almost hard to believe it's fried because it's not oily at all. Perfectly crispy. It's You don't really get any meat because it's so small. You just fry up that skin. So it's really just like your little afternoon potato chip snack. Wow, if I had a beer, I would put too many of these down. Wow. I'm going back in for what may be my favorite of the trip, the mum doodoo. Get your chili ready. Mm. Mm. The only thing that needs is I wish they had some of the chilies chopped up in it and add some garlic to it, and that would be absolute perfection. Now what we got is a bee larvae salad. You see, you got the actual banana blossom here. You got the rao ram, which is the Vietnamese coriander. The du du, which is gonna be the mango. You see some dao phong. It looks like it's been tossed in a little sauce. I'm sure it's like nook mom sugar. Very refreshing, just slightly sweet, crunchy from all the vegetables. The bee larvae, I mean, you wouldn't know it's there unless you already know it's there. Does need some mum tom with it though. Hmm. Ăn cơm ngon quá em. Ăn cơm luôn em. Good call, Chi. She got the extra mum brook. I'm sorry, y'all. I misspoke. That's not mum tom. It's mum brook. That's my fault. Not thinking. Too excited. Oh, oh that little saltiness. The mum brook. The fried up fish. It's like a lace potato chip, all natural. <laughs> Man, chase you with some rice. I love this right here though with the doo doo. This game over. I haven't even made it to the eel. I haven't even made it up to the other fried up stuff. Everything's so good.
and look at it. You can see all the larvae on the inside. They just actually put this, I do believe, with some type of flour and fried it up. Dip it in the soybean little dipping sauce we got here. Like a very earthy, creamy hush puppy. I gotta get another one of those. What's your favorite? Mom. The mom? Which one? Mom Dodo or Mom Rook? Look at you. Oh, you like me? You got two bowls. <laughs> <laughs> mind if I do going back again this is good too why is everything so good I'm gonna have to stand up and walk away from that fried one I've eaten way too much of those Lung eel cooked with a uh, wild vegetable but this vegetables leave it on the water we call round ngõ. I look at that. I mean, you dishing that up and it just, I'm getting curry vibes. I'm loving all that greenery in there. That color is actually very appealing. And then that eel, which have just steamed, I do believe, it just fall apart soft and tender. Had to get some extra rice in my bowl, heat that rice up. And I'm sure they gotta have coconut milk in it, right? I mean, we are in the South, it's gotta have coconut milk. Mm. Mm. That kind of hits you off with just a nice, light, gentle, a lot like curry the way it's got that little bit of coconut milk. It's a little bit sweet, it's oily, and then that vegetable at the end says, nah and boom, will slap you. It's got a bitter kick to it at the end. I kind of liked it though. Mm. Try out the eel. A big old sucker, so it's got a lot of meat on it, just enough fat in it so it melts in your mouth and cooked properly. Cooked enough to where it does melt in your mouth. And then with all the flavors of that curry, subtly sweet, coconut. This is one of those meals where you're gonna eat so much, you're gonna be hurting afterwards. I can feel the pain coming. Hmm. But y'all, there's so much food left. I got two people with me. We are gonna enjoy the meal, enjoy the night. It's just kind of rinse and repeat anyways. I'm gonna be eating a lot of mum doodle, mum brook, and lots of that eel in that sauce. Hope y'all enjoyed. This is Max. I'll catch you at the next video. Peace.